Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the fifth video of my playlist Hugging Face Tutorials. And in this video, we are going to explore the image to text model from Hugging Face. So, for that, let me open the Hugging Face. So, if I'll go to Hugging Face, there are so many models. We'll click on models and we'll select a model which can convert an image to text or give a description of that image. For that, we need to focus on computer vision and here you can see like text to image and image to text this is available this model so i'm going to select image to text this model and i will sort using most downloads so here you can see like microsoft model is available salesforce model is also available so let me uh, try with this microsoft model which is handwritten so okay so this is basically uh converting this optical character recognition so Hope you have done it. It is written as a handwritten language and it is converting this to the text. So this is we are not going to select. We will select a model which can convert an image to image description. So this is created by Salesforce Corporation and interface API also available and documentation also available at the left side. So we're going to upload an image. Let me upload one of my image, which is a cat's image. So you can see like the description is given and this model is much faster so there is a small orange kitten sitting on the top of a laptop which is correct let me upload some other image maybe this image i will upload let's see what will be the output azure logo on a blue background which is perfectly correct so we are going to use this model for our uh, streamlit application or chat application for that we need to build a streamlit chat application which can uh, upload the image which has the upload functionality so for that i have to open my uh, visual studio code let me open the visual studio code in this particular video i'm going to uh, create a streamlit application which can upload the image which has the upload functionality of an image and that can store in a local folder we will create an application of streamlit and in next video i will create a integration part of this uh, blip image captioning large this model with my streamlit application so that whatever the image we're going to upload through streamlit application it will directly feed through this api and it will get a uh, output like this the description of the image so that will be a later part or second part of this video so in the first part we are going to create a streamlit application for this functionality to upload the image for that i need to open the visual studio code let me open the visual studio code I think I have already opened the Visual Studio code. Okay, it's not yet opened. I'm going to open this. Okay, so uh, I was trying with the code. So let me delete this folder because uh, I have created previously. I'm going to create a new file image upload.py. Okay, so I have created this uh, file python file and i'm going to create a python code based on streamlit which has the functionality to upload image file and store in the local folder local folder mean i am using the streamlit underscore app this is my local folder so whatever the image or whatever the image file in the form of jpg jpg or png format we are going to upload from the streamlit front end it will come to back end and store in a local folder so for that first we need to import the streamlit streamlit as ast okay and in the next line i'm going to import os operating system because uh, we are going to use the local folder path so for that we need os okay and then uh, we'll define upload folder we can define upload folder we can give the name like uploaded underscore image this is the local folder we are going to create and first we need to check whether the folder is available or not for that uh, we can give a comment like um, check if the folder is available or not if not it will going to create the folder so the logic is if not OS dot path dot exist exists 
upload folder then os dot mkdir this folder this folder it will create uploaded image uh, we have to give this because we already assign this variable to uploaded image folder so this is the basic functionality if the path is not exist like uploaded image folder is not there so it will create this particular folder and we have to give a title ht dot header we can give or ht dot title also you can use upload image and get a description of it upload image and get a description of it okay this will be my header and then file uploader so for file upload ht dot file uploader is there so those who don't know about ht dot file uploader you simply go to streamlit streamlit image upload if you search on that you'll get ht dot file uploader so ht dot file uploader to upload the image or upload the file okay whatever the file you have any csv file or any excel file or any text file whatever the file you have so we'll use ht dot file uploader okay copy this ht dot file uploader or we can keep do one thing we can give uploaded file uploaded underscore uh, file is equal to ht dot file uploader and then we can give So those things we no need to mention at all. We can do one thing. We can give choose an image and then this dots and then we can mention the types. I think types is defined. Yeah. So type is equal to file type is equal to under a list we need to define like JPG and then jpeg and then png so those are the file types we are going to upload and then we need to uh, save the file okay if uploaded file is not none then we need to uh, process this and we need to save the file so for that if uploaded file is not none then we are going to upload this file to our local directory so first we need to get the file name and save path file name and save path okay so file name file underscore name is equal to uploaded file uploaded file dot name okay so this is the way of getting the name or properties of the uploaded file if i give dot and control space so here you can see file name is there and it should have name as well yes it should have name as well so this is the file name and saved path is equal to os dot path dot join we are going to join this upload folder and file name upload folder and file name okay so we are getting the file name saved path both the things and next is save the uploaded file to a specified path so specified path means we are going to save the uploaded file to our local directory or local uh, folder so I'm giving a command for understanding save the file to a local folder or local directory okay so how to save this nothing but with open with open uh, and we have to give saved path and we have to give wb mod and as if and 
if dot write file name or else you can give uploaded file and comma upload or else you can give uploaded file and we need to check like what are the things available upload buffer or something get buffer it should be should have the get buffer uploaded file and get uff here get buffer so basically nothing but it is saving the file to the local directory and we can give a success message how we can give we can give like this image successfully uploaded to saved path image successfully uploaded to saved path so i think i have done some mistake i have to give the quotes at the last and then display the uploaded file that we can do later first we'll try to execute this code so basically what it will do is upload folder we have named the upload folder uploaded image and we are checking whether the folder is created or not if not it will create the new folder this is the header then uploaded file this is the type so this notation you can give from the streamlit website so this is the thing we just define the type and st.file uploaded that's it and if uploaded file is not none file name and file path we have taken and with open we are just writing the file to our local directory and then a success message let's see our code is running or not so for that i need to activate the environment i have to open miniconda and i'll get conda activate venv st app then i need to redirect to this folder which is streamlit app and stream streamlit run this one is image upload.py image upload.py yeah let's try to run this okay so you got this upload image and get a description of it so this is the title we have provided and this is the uploader portion okay so i'm going to upload this see image successfully uploaded to this is the spelling mistake i have i have to correct that and this is the path uploaded image and bootstrap logo vector.png this is the name of that png file whatever i have uploaded so i have to correct this s-u-c-c-e-s-s -E -S -S success successfully uploaded to saved path okay so our functionality is working and here you can see uploaded image this folder is getting created if i click this here you can see the logo so this is the logo of a bootstrap which is saved under this uploaded image folder so if i'm going to upload something else like this so see images one.png and if you go there you can see like this image is saved under this uploaded image folder okay and if you want to view the file uploaded so for that you need to display that file so for that we need to do you need to do uh, st dot sorry st dot sorry image st dot image and then uploaded file and then caption also you can provide which is uploaded image you can give anything it is not like i am giving this you have to give this you can give any caption and use column WIDTV. Use column with, I'm giving as true. Okay, so in this case, we can view the uploaded file, whatever we have uploaded in the uh, Streamlit application itself. I'm going to delete this folder because this folder again going to create. I'm refreshing this page. Okay, now I'm going to upload the same file bootstrap. So now you can see like image successfully uploaded to this and this is the file we have created. So you can expand that as well. So this functionality uh, basically provided by the Streamlit Corporation and uploaded image. This is the tag of the image or we have uploaded, we have provided a caption, right? So if you don't use caption, 
that will that that will also be fine and if you won't use this let's see what will happen so again i'm going to upload some image so see there won't be any much problem so if you don't want to use this you can if you want to use use column width that is also fine so this portion we don't need to use we will do one thing we will directly feed this image path or saved path to our llm model whatever we have selecting from hugging face and then it should give us the proper reply or proper description of the image so for that i will create a separate video till then stay tuned and subscribe to my channel goodbye